General Mills is doing so much to help the bees. All around where they're growing oats for Honey Nut Cheerios, they're gonna be planting wildflowers, some native species that will really, really benefit all of our bees. Bees have been on Earth for a long, long time, probably over 50 million years. They are the most important pollinators of our fruits and vegetables. They contribute to the pollination or yield of our coffee, which is very important in my diet. <laughs> Worldwide, we estimate we have over 20,000 species of bees, and they're all very important pollinators. In California alone, there's about 1,400 different species of native bees. Bees in particular are very useful for pollinating a lot of the food crops that people consume. They also are useful in pollinating a lot of the seed crops, the seeds that we need to plant to produce future crops in future years. Bees have actually been in decline since World War II. We changed our agricultural practices after World War II, and we got into this cultural aesthetic of just having one species, like the lawn in our cities. If we take bees out of our food systems, so many of the foods that we are used to being able to eat and that we rely on for nutrition um, will start to disappear out of our diets, a lot of fruit and vegetables. This is a produce department in a grocery store uh, with your life with bees. And this is a photograph that shows what our life would be like without bees. It's pretty sad. We decided, you know, we, we need to do something. This is gonna become a larger problem. So at General Mills, we began this pollinator project. We have plans in place to move pollinator habitat establishment out to our entire supply chain. So we have a, a very large goal, a big goal, to try to achieve 3,300 acres. That's, that's equivalent to 3,000 football fields. So that's a lot of pollinator habitat that has to get planted in the next several years. We have people working on these projects, we're funding research, we're funding you know, actions that are gonna make a difference. We've got a cover crop planted here. Um, this is crimson clover right here. We plant habitat in these orchards to provide floral resources, that is pollen and nectar for bees. They need a consistent source. They also need a diversity of different types of, of plants that are blooming. It's the greatest thing in the world to be a farmer. It's a huge advantage for us to have General Mills. Just to have them helping us now with getting these wildflower plots in and getting guys coming out to educate us guys, us farmers, on the importance of it, I think it's a great thing. There are other issues surrounding bee survivability, honeybees and native pollinators and monarchs and, and such. But I think everybody can agree that by planting more habitat, we're, we're gonna do a lot of good. This collaboration between General Mills and the Xerxes Society and here at the University of Minnesota and so many others, we're all working together to get our bees back on their own six feet. It's a great initiative. Mm -hmm.